think I'm just going to enjoy being 30, you know? <laughs> 30? Why does it sound so weird? Why? Why? So hello, I am back. I'm vlogging again. I'm 30. I've got new hair. I had tonsillitis. That's my little update for you. I need to get ready as well because I've got a photo shoot today with Lauren. So if you don't know Lauren, she's an amazing blogger and human and just a great communicator. She's been battling breast cancer for the past year. You know, it's it's all good at the moment, but she's still like taking certain things. Like it's really interesting. She's documented her journey over on social media. So every day she'll post a story, you know, with updates as to what she's doing. And she's been selling t-shirts to raise money for just living her life. Because when you're, you know, when you're a millennial, when you're single, you know, who's gonna look after you? If you don't have a husband or anything, you have to look after yourself. So she's done that to raise money for her life and then also for some cancer charities. So I'm actually going to a photo shoot because I think she's got a new batch of t-shirts and she wants, you know, some of her friends to, to model. So I'm gonna do a bit of modeling today. I need to leave in 15 minutes, but, and it's not too far. Like it's not too far, but you know, the most annoying thing about London is that some places are not that far like to drive, it wouldn't be that far, but if you've got to get public transport, it's a bit of a mish. And I'm not gonna Uber, because I'm not about the Uber life. So I'm gonna try and get ready and talk to you at the same time. Right, moisturizer. So I turned 30, obviously I was freaking out. I know I was talking about it. I've been talking about it for the past few months. And I know I was just like, ah, I'm gonna be 30, like not actually believing it. Now I'm actually 30 and it's weird because it doesn't, it doesn't really seem real until you have to tell people your age. And I haven't actually had to tell anyone my age. So at the moment, I'm in this weird limbo. I was obviously like dreading my birthday, um, you know, the age itself and then what to do for your birthday. Cause I feel like, you know, you always have to be doing something. And I don't know if it's just me, me being silly thinking, cause it's like New Year's Eve. Everyone's like, what are you doing for New Year's Eve? When rea in reality, no one cares. Like you're only gonna say, I'm doing this. And I'll be like, oh great, I'm doing this. When it's your 30th. You know, you feel like you've got to be, I don't know. You feel like you've got to be painting the town red or something or organizing a big old party or, you know, doing something for the sake of it. And I was like, I didn't know what to do. I knew what I wanted to do, but then I left it so long to book the flights. I knew I wanted to go to Budapest. I knew Budapest would be a really cool place to go to. I knew it was cheap, but then I left the flights like really late um, and you know, I, I begrudge paying, you know, 200 pounds for a Ryanair flight. You know, that's what I ended up doing because, uh, you know, Lucy convinced me and she's like, you know, you've got one thirtieth, got to make it a good one. I just thought, do something you love. You know, you love traveling, go travel, go away with your friends, explore a new city, eat some food and just get some sun and have a good time. That's what we did. And it was just so great because we just went with Lucy and Carrie. We just had so much fun, like so many laughs, even though it was really hot. It's crazy, we were here, it was sort of cold here. We were moaning because it was cold here. And then we got there and it was hot there. We're like, oh, it's too hot. And it's like, we're never happy. And we just have really silly chats, like silly jokes. Like there was a bar called Basic Bar and I was joking like Lucy was basic because she was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. And I feel like I've had, an, I had several epiphanies. It's so weird. And I need to reflect on it. Like I wanted to do a blog post and I still haven't finished it, which is really annoying, but maybe you know i think i feel like i had to go away to sort of realize what i wanted to say most birthdays are kind of just like meh and then i you know move on but this birthday was just so good and then i had like the post birthday blues which i was really not expecting so i was just really sad to come home i was really sad that it was all over and then i had tonsillitis it was annoying because i just wanted to get back to work and creating stuff again and i had to rest and it always takes me a little while to work out where if I'm actually ill and most of the time I'm just like you know if I can move I'm fine but I just felt myself getting worse and I had pain in my throat it was just so horrible so yeah last week I was just kind of resting so this is my first week like trying to get back into it it's like the last week of August which is freaking me out because it's always like my birthday and then the end of summer and then Christmas <laughs> birthdays man <sighs> birthdays so today i've got the shoot i have a meeting and then i've got a bowden thing it's a like i'm gonna be on their customer panels i'm gonna be filmed talking about bowden i've just had to sort of park my reflective post because i'm just not quite sure 
you know, what I want to include, like how deep I want to go, because I feel like I wanted to go back to the start of my 20s. And I was obviously, you know, quite insecure about a lot of things. You know, you probably, you probably guess, I'm a late bloomer. So I was very much insecure at the age of 20 about that. I've got an excerpt from my diary at like 19, and I was gonna include that. It was like 10 things I've realized at age 20, and five of those things all related to one guy. And I guess, you know, in my 20s, you know, I thought, you know, I thought I might <laughs> fall in love, but now I kind of realize yeah, apparently I don't send signals out that I'm available. <laughs> I send like, I send no signals out. And it's, it's really because I'm just, I'm quite shy. I, you know, I'm quite, I just want to protect myself in a way. Like I wanted to sort of like refer to it because I knew if, you know, if I, if at 20 I'd felt, if someone had just said, you know, you're not weird, you know, I would have felt a lot better about myself. Because you think that everyone's like super experienced and everything. Um, and it didn't, you know, it did, it, you know, I got really down. I would get really down. So I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how, how much I want to talk about. But I just know if you're young and you're insecure, it's okay. You're like a potato. Potato face. Potato, potato. It's going to be the busiest time of the year, September, October, November, because there's going to be lots of Christmas campaigns and brands want to like get the awareness out there before Christmas. So it's a really important time of year. It's going to be a really, it's like make or break, I guess, because if it goes really well, I'll be like, you know, great. I feel really confident for 2018. And if it doesn't, you know, there'll be lots to learn from and bring forward. Because every year I'm just like, you know, is this my last year of this? Like, do I have to stop? Should I do something else? But then something always happens that makes me think, no, keep going. Next year will be my 10th year of blogging. So I'll have lots of like interesting reflections and I, yeah, I'll really talk about how it's, how everything like evolved each year. You know, when you're like, really want to do eyeshadow but I don't really have time but I've already started so now I've just got to go with it <laughs> good I think that's like the main update I mean sometimes I freak out like when I wasn't so well every so often I'd be like I need to freeze my eggs like right now I've calmed down a bit I think I'm just gonna enjoy being 30 you know <laughs> 30 why does it sound so weird why why blurty 30 <laughs> I'm going to finish up this look and I will speak to you in a bit. I'm just on the tube. So far, so good. I'm not going to be too late, hopefully. I'm excited. I'm excited to catch up with Lauren, see what she's up to. Because I know she's having some bumble issues, aren't we all? And um, I can't wait to see who else is on the shoot. Hey! I spotted her. I, I, yeah. I spotted, like, yeah, so you lost looking bloggers in the middle of nowhere, basically. Oh, and we all found each other. And we're all here. Oh, this is a nice house. Let me show you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, it looks like something out of Grand Designs. It looks amazing. Okay, let's go inside. Oh my God, this is swish as a man. Lots of baked goods. Which baked good? I'm thinking the chocolate croissant. Basically, Girl vs Cancer was born of me getting the old titty troubles and thinking what can I do to help? Like, I'm 32 and have no tits and I've got breast cancer, so how does this happen? And I think a lot of young women don't know that they can get it because it's kind of put out into the media as like an older or more of a vast life stage thing, and it's not. Um, so it was born of a fun way to get women checking their tits, really, which was the slogan tease. And since I've been talking about it online, it's kind of grown into this amazing community of women, um, not just breast cancer, any cancers. I've had women who have gone through divorces, are having hard times, they just find it a real nice place of kind of just good vibes and it's helping people. Um, I've had nurses message me going, I know how to help my patients now. Um, so I think, you know, I'm not going to shut that away, I'm going to grow it. So Girl vs Cancer is becoming a real community and a fund. So it's going to be a place that girls like me who get diagnosed and go, what the fuck do I do now? And when, when can I wear a spray tan? When can I start drinking again? You know, the things that we really care about. Um, they can actually come and find out from me. So they're going to be available from October. Um, I'm just working out now, but I'm going to try and do 30% of the profits go to the charity, but I'm working out the cost now at the moment, so I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, they're the new designs. 
very excited about them. I need to have a snoop around the house. Oh my god. Oh, Clive. That's what people call my dad. Clive. Oh my god, this kitchen. Look at this kitchen. It is insane. Lots of clean lines, obviously. I think this is where we're having the photo shoot. Oh my god, I really want to go upstairs. It's also a pool. Unfortunately, we <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't be going in the pool today. Dang. Hello, Izzy. <laughs> we were besties. We were BFS. Oh, yeah, Are you crying because I've left you? I'm sorry, Izzy. Oh, So I'm all done now. I had my individual shots. I'm still worried that I look really, really awkward because I can do my poses. Like I can do my voice still by myself, but then <clears throat> sometimes when I'm in photo shoot situations and especially when there's not much time, you know, I just look a bit like, Ugh. so we'll see, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what the, the final result looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna head off onto my next appointment. inappropriate footwear. I'm wearing pumps. I'm wearing metallic pumps. But yes, I've had my meeting. I had to just run a few errands on Oxford Street because I need to shoot some stuff tomorrow. So I had to pick up the last few bits. And now I'm going to head west to Bowdoin. I'm going to be early, hopefully. So this is Bowdoin HQ. I'm heading in there. And I'm going to be there for a couple of hours. Hello everyone, so it is Thursday, apologies I forgot to end the vlog yesterday because I was doing this I guess like internal thing at Bowdoin so I couldn't film any of it but it was quite, it's quite fun. After that I just went home and slobbed them out. So yes, today I'm shooting with Joe, so that's Liv's boyfriend if you don't know and he's a really good photographer. I need to shoot everything, edit it later on and write it up for tomorrow so it's going to be busy 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 but Hopefully it'll be okay. I think I've picked some really great pieces. So yeah, I will show you behind the scenes. So hello, back home now. I think that shooting went really well. So Joe took all his pictures on his camera, but using my memory card. So what I normally do is edit them because I am a control freak. So I've just had a look. It's looking good so far. I'll probably show you some in a bit. And I've got to make some dinner. I think I'm gonna make some tacos. And I might eat really early. Like Lucy always jokes that I eat really early. Like I don't really snack throughout the day. I'd like to just have meals. <laughs> so I just like, I always want to have my lunch at 11 and my dinner at four. I'm gonna be using the Oaxaca taco kit. This was kindly sent to me. And I think this is like the medium flavor. So got the perfect corn tortillas and some salsa. I've been marinating the mince for a couple of days, so it should be nice and fiery. So these are my tacos. Mm -mm -mm. So it's a little bit later today, but I'd show you some of the pictures I took. So I had to shoot a calf kids and thing, then collect plus. So I've got loads of these shots. I like to, I like a bit of movement. You know, I like the movement. So yeah, I went to three different locations. It was quite handy because I was able to get changed at my co-working space and use that as a base. And I love how this dress looks. It's an ASOS number. And yeah, Joe's really good with locations. As I said, I'm gonna head to the gym, do my Zumba class, which is like the highlight of my week. Like, I'm so excited. Yeah, that's about it for today. So, I don't know, I might leave this as a two day vlog. I'm not really doing much tomorrow. So I might just do like a chatty end in the morning. So I will see you then. So that footage was me making my bed at 5 p.m. because I have had the laziest Saturday in the history of Saturdays. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, now it's September and it's like January. September is the January of fashion. Everyone wants to have a fresh start. It's like back to school, isn't it? And everyone panics because it's almost the end of the year. You know, it's a very busy period, especially for us internet folk. So I guess, yeah, I do want to have some new systems in place. I don't know what their systems are. 
if you can help me with my systems. But yeah, I do want to get a bit more consistent. So maybe in October, I might set myself a challenge, try and do two videos a week. I was thinking of doing a week of videos, but it might be better just spreading out the same amount of videos over the month and it will stress me out less, but it gives me a chance to see what it's like, you know, creating two videos. So I will start prepping for that. Like, I guess now I'll start like planning. So if you've got anything you'd like to see me do, let me know. And I will, you know, I'll have a little, have a go. I know someone asked me for a books video. It's taken me like a year to read like five books. So it's, it's coming, it's on the back burner, but it, it, it will happen when I can read these books. I just so, I find it so hard because I'm online all the time. I feel good though. I know I was, I was freaking out about turning 30. I, I feel good. I feel like I know myself better. I feel more confident, even though I'm not like super confident. You know, confidence is a journey. I feel like I can project confidence and I think it is about faking it till you make it. So I do tend to project confidence, even if I'm not very confident in certain situations. So yeah, I feel like it's just a chance to get myself together and in so many different ways. Everything's good, and, you know, apart from the state of the world, but you know, everything in, you know, things in my life are good. So yeah, that's my little update for you. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I know it was, I don't know, I don't know what this is, but thank you so much for watching and all of your lovely comments. I've also got a blog I want you to know. So I've just posted the stuff that I shot two days ago on my blog. So I'd love it if you checked it out. I've also got Instagram. I'm always posting colorful photos and, you know, food, London, travel, whatever I can get my hands on basically. Uh, that's all the plugging I've got. My top commenter goes to Miss Noodle 90 who's been really nice leaving lots of comments on my videos. Thank you so much. It's appreciated definitely. And yeah, I think that's it for now. So, so make sure you give this a thumbs up, a comment, all that jazz, and I will see you very very soon. Bye. <laughs> the weirdest look is probably the trilby spotty skirt, cardigan, like brogue knee-high socks, tights combination, like it's the most bizarre thing. I don't know, I feel like I was playing a character of sorts some days. I think every blogger had a Peter Pan collar stage. A lot of Topshop. I spent a lot of money in Topshop.